Hello and welcome to NFT Decree. I'm Barry and today we are going through another deck tech. This time we're going to take a look at what's possible with uh, Frenzy. Now this deck, uh, uh, or the, the, the good version of this deck that Secret came up with, who's a Mythic Guild uh, member, um, is probably better than mine. I've not really looked into his to figure out exactly what it does. But I've had a play with a couple of different versions and I'm going to go with this one to show people. So this one is a bit hit or miss, right? I mean, it can uh, it can outpace a lot of things, including sort of cultists. Um, you know, you could you can potentially win before turn seven uh, if everything goes swimmingly. But for the most part, it's not really going to go swimmingly, and it's a little bit more. It's a bit more of a swing deck, right? I mean, either uh, win win a lot or lose a lot. So bear that in mind. It's not really going to see you through a. A complicated tournament, you know, a big, a big tournament. Yeah, you know, some decks are just going to beat you from it. So the core of this deck is the Devil's Ring. So we're playing it out of uh, Cunning Crusaders, and the Devil's Ring. If you've not seen it, is plus six, plus zero. Destroy the wielder at the end of your turn and put this back to hand. So this is theoretically infinitely replayable as long as you've got people to play it on and as long as they survive. If the person that you put this on dies then they, uh, this can't come back to hand because it goes to your graveyard uh, beforehand. Uh, so the way we're going to get around having people uh, to play it on is twofold. First, we're going to have uh, characters with Frenzy, and secondly, we're going to have characters with Fatal Strike that people aren't going to want to hit. So if we... Uh, we'll just do it in order, right? So neutral, we have... Combat Cultist, a 2-1 Frenzy, nothing special, but cost you 2 to put it down, and then as long as it's turn 6, you can get the Devil's Ring on it. Then uh, Liquidator, which you've probably seen quite a lot of. This is useful for, you know, just combating uh, owl bears and early aggression. Uh, you might want to get that down as well, um, which is fine. There's also Spiderlings, it's just another 2-cost Fatal Strike. Just things that your, your opponent doesn't want to hit. Then as we move up, uh, I stayed away from Scorpion because Desert Snake has one more uh, attack. And since it's attack that we care about, that is uh, the better choice. Then, of course, we've got uh, Fnatic just to, again, uh, the, your deck has to function, right? So Fnatic's to slow down your opponents uh, are pretty crucial. Then into here, into the Crusaders, you've got the Slaver. So he has Fatal Strike and Guardian, so he could perhaps get two hits off. Or if somebody wants to hit him, you know, you get two Fatal Strikes off. Um, Bank Robber, which is a three, you know, four cost, but three attack frenzy. Um, there's very little opportunities for you to put this back in your hands, but you, uh, as an option, could happen. Then back into the neutrals, we have Vortex. Um, this isn't so much used for the Devil's Ring, but it can be. If you can kill something early on with Vortex, uh, your opponent might ignore it because it'll be a 1-2 creature. You've already had the utility from it, and then you can uh, play the Devil's Ring. Now, because your deck very much relies on, on having this Devil's Ring, uh, of course, we put the, the Offering in for drawing cards. Um, then we're moving up the, the ranks into more Frenzy, so the 4 attack, Burning Cow, 5 cost, and then back into uh, the Crusaders here for Diligence Robbers, which cost more for the four attack. Uh, you know, this this two health is not really doing anything for you, but uh, a couple of those. And then uh, Owl Bears, right? So Owl Bears, we, I assume everybody's seen, but uh, you just put them in for your... If you can drop them early, um, you don't even need the, the Devil's Ring on them. So because there's only three Devil's Rings in there as well, I've also put in a couple of Cursed Whips. So the, the Charon Zobos, the COs, mm, yeah, okay, fine, they might keep you alive a little longer, which you might need, but the plus four damage uh, is pretty helpful. Then uh, I've thrown in one stick of dynamite just in case you see it and they've, they've put down something with Fortify to stop you continually uh, smashing face with it. But the whole deck just revolves around playing a card, uh, either attacking with it immediately after playing Devil's Ring or having it stay around for a turn for the Devil's Ring and uh, hitting them for potentially like 8, eight to 10 damage a turn um, by the time turn 4 rolls around. So then you're doing, you know, 3-4 turns from, from turn 4. Uh, you're kind of safe. 
um, or you can kill them by turn per turn seven, turn eight, uh, and because they've got frenzy, they're not subject to the board wipes uh, that your your opponent might be playing out of uh, AG uh, ancestral guard. So let's see how it works. It's, it's probably not going to work particularly well, but we'll. we'll hopefully get a couple of good examples when it works. Now, as I say, uh, Secrets deck actually better than mine, but I've not really um, grilled him for information on what he's got in it. Uh, he, he has beat me. Uh, he's beat, you know, proper proper decks with it. He uh, beat the, the last video's root deck uh, quite handily. Obviously, the root deck doesn't go off till turn 9 and doesn't have a huge amount of defensive options uh, against something like Frenzy. So let's see what happens. Hopefully we get some games. And I can use some water. If we don't get any games now, I'll pause it and uh, wait till we do. Let's see if anybody's playing. Uh, no. So I'll just pause it and uh, no time will pass for you, but I'll wait until I get a game. As always when I do these things, I uh, immediately get a game as soon as I hit the record stop button. <laughs> Don't know why I bother. I should just stick with it, but then it'll never happen. So this is an early game. This is early game. Uh, we'll get rid of you. And then we're into the Devil's Ring. So all we really need now... We don't really need anything. Once once we've got this up and running, if we put both these down, you'll have to kill the Liquidator at some point, but you won't need, you won't need to kill the Spiderling. So turn two, Liquidator. Turn three, Spiderling, which you might ignore. And then we uh, start swinging over. So turn turn four, we're doing seven damage, which is, you know, a decent chunk out of 40. Let's do the maths. I mean, it's not 25%, right? But about 20... Uh, what would 20% what be? One fifth, eight, so not even that, but 18%. Um, that's still a lot. That's like five turns uh, in order to kill them. So I'm going to play... Liquidator first, so we just have to assume that he's on your you know your normal meta decks. He's going to play an owl bear or wants to play an owl bear uh, that he might struggle with now. So he plays that, which is fine. Um, so I could, and in fact I will go in there. Because I just need to make him scared enough that he, he, he maybe overextends into this. And then I'll start getting this down. So that's fine. Absolutely no problems with that. So that's also fine. Uh, he obviously gets the draw out of it, but that's not really what we care about. So we drop you over for seven. Turn ends. He dies. Comes back. So we're not going to be able to play this again until turn 7 to, to both Frenzy and uh, do this. So I'll play the Spiderling and see if he wants to take that out. If not, we can do it again next turn. Um, so what if we do this? Then I mute you and kill you. So you might just trade there, right? So... Um, in fact, he, he almost certainly will. It's, it's strange that he played the spell there, but that's okay. Um, fine, so I need to... Oh, this isn't so bad. But I can't get both of these down. Ah, uh, you know what, I'm just going to play that one. He's on six, so he could brainwash. So he's on the one-turn kill deck, right? So we know that much. Uh, and I might struggle to outpace it, because I'm not drawing... Uh, as many units as I might like, as many creatures. So he's going to spell damage up one. He's only got two left. So that's okay. So now we can... 
do that. I mean, I might want to take him out there, right? Um, yes, like let's let's do it this way. So then we've got the owl bear. So now he's going to take out that, and now he needs to. I mean, he could just trade this for this, which he might do, and then he has to decide whether it's worth killing this. Uh, but he knows that I've got the Devil's Ring in hand. So he does really want to kill them both. So that's fine. So with two, fine. Is he then going to swing into this? He should. Yes. But that's no problem. So now we just need to get some bodies down. So we drop you. Then we drop you. Uh, I've got to be careful though. Um, because... Because you, because you can do the board wipes, right? So this can trade with this, and then he could van meter monster this away, but then he's not getting anything down. <clears throat> then I can drop this and this. I don't know, it's tricky, right? If he doesn't play... Okay, so that's fine, and then he hits that. Oh no, he's keeping this alive. Spicy. But that was a couple of spells that uh, he had to use there. So here I drop this just as is, and play it straight on it. Get over for 10. It dies, and I can do another 10 next turn. No problems. So then we go again. Frenzy. Over for another 10. So obviously he's not quite in danger zone. And I don't have any defense up. So he's got the beast. So I need to kill the beast is the thing. Um, and I'm not sure I can. Because otherwise he piazzas next turn. And kills me. Um, so this is enough to, I mean, plus six, that's nine, can't do it, so I will take out you, because I have to, I'll draw a couple of cards, and I will uh, force you into playing a spell, I guess, I mean, you could take me out with this, either way is fine, for him. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. Hardly seems worth it. This is okay. So if I can just survive another couple of turns. So this is six plus six. So I can kill him here. Six plus... Oh, no, it's a four. Ah, uh, no, mate. You need to learn to... <laughs> Why the... Is that six cost? Yeah, it's a four damage. Okay, so I, I rather poorly worked that out. I just need anything with Frenzy. Anything with Frenzy is going to uh, win me the game here. Um, boom. Jobs are good in. In fact, I don't even need to put anything on it. So there you go. So that is how you win that one. So turn 12, if he was Folk Monster in Piazza instead of Beast of Busco in Piazza, he could have killed me the turn before. Um, so that was a pretty slow start, didn't get many creatures down uh, in a timely fashion. And then you obviously reveal your hand very quickly <laughs> with this deck, right? When, you, when you've got like a crappy 1-1 creature left on the board and they just can't afford to leave it anymore, right? So I might have wanted to sack that off because I may pull another one anyway. Uh, yeah, this isn't great, right? Oh, I know. This is fine. We can make a strong comeback. What you're looking for early on, I guess, is just your um, your liquidators, your your rattlesnake thingies, your anything small. So I'm going to play this guy just because he's got the guardian. Ah, uh, fine. I can't really do much about that, to be honest. So I've got no, I've got no nothing. So let's swing in there. Let's, uh, I'll force him to, to hit me if that's what he wants. Um, and if I can just, if I can just find it, <laughs> then we're good to go. I mean, I maybe should have went for the offering instead. Uh, i got to assume that he's going to take this out anyway, so I needed a, another body. So two damage. I guess he goes in for one damage. Do you take the, do you take the guardian off him? Fine, so I suppose I could trade into that. 
unless I see the ring, right? If I see the ring, then I will um, definitely take that. Uh, fine, so I guess I have to go fish. Uh, not what I wanted, so I will... Ah, uh, you know what, I'll make him do it. If he wants to take me out, he has to take me out, right? I'm just trying to get over for damage as much as possible, um, as quick as possible. So we're going into six. Six will let me offering and liquidator. And then hopefully we get to, to what we need. So the fact he's used the bat swarm there is fine. I can take some damage because hopefully I can start dealing it out faster. But really going to need to see some items that aren't the dynamite. Perfect. So I can actually just start going for it, right? So there's eight. Nothing for him to hit. Um, then I can... Uh, so next turn I'll have seven. So I need four and four to do it again. Um, you're okay. So seven will get me... Maybe it'll get me Fatal Strike and Liquidator, just to put the threat down. Uh, in fact, it'll get me Fatal Strike, Liquidator and Liquidator. So now he's got a whole bunch of things to, do, to, to worry about. So if he gets another Archer down to take out one of these... He shouldn't be able to kill them all. I am going to kill this, right? Um, yeah, now I have to kill that. But that's okay. So he takes out one. So I'll take you out, I'll take you out, and then I will bank rubber Devil's Ring. Alright, fine. Take yourself out. You should have left him, because he would have got two more damage off. Uh, ah, right, so now I need to hit that, right? Unless uh, we mute you uh, ring over for eight. Well, that was convenient, but that's how that works. It's worth noting, if you've not noticed in any of my other videos, the Tortured's last word effect um, doesn't get silenced when you mute it. So that's just a bug. Uh, so anything that's hit it when it dies will also die. So let's see, we're going up to nine. So that's Bank Robber and Devil's Ring. Um, so we're avoiding all these kind of root effects just because we're, we're not going down until uh, the turn it has to... We attack on the turn we do it, and we, we die immediately. Um, this is fine. So four. Get over for nine. Dead. Next turn we get over for another ten. And then we just have to pull. We just have to top deck a, a frenzy. Uh, uh, okay, so that's a problem. So we can take that out anyway. Um... If we get something that lets us deal with this, that's good. I wonder if it still thinks this has fortify though. One way to find out. So I just need I just need anything, right? I just need a creature. I need a cheap creature because I'm only gonna have ten. So I need a fanatic or better. But if I get a fanatic I can mute that anyway. Uh so I could six. Uh, well, I guess I have to draw. Ah, no. What a time to pull all of those. Um, so he's getting across for 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, I guess I just have to... Oh, this is a tricky, tricky, tricky position. So 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I can't take a lot of those. I could... I mean, this is obviously going to kill you, but not this turn. Um, sorry, smacking my my teeth there. Um, oh, if it was just slightly later, so I could swing over. I could take one of these. Out. Oh, I can't. I have to take this out, don't I? Uh, but then again, they're going to have to. It doesn't kill me, so they're going to have to take me out as well. So I should be able to at least damage you, but that doesn't help anything. Now, this isn't unique. I'm going up to 11. So if I... 
So 6, 12. If I get a Fnatic, still not enough. So now he's got this. I can't really do much. I have to start killing his board. Uh, this was looking like it could have been a win, but drawing drawing all of these was a problem. So uh, what if instead we drop you and drop you? Uh, that lets us play an O-ball, play an O-ball. So then he's across for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we're still alive. So let's just, let's just go for it, right? Um, he's got to think about hitting this. Ah, oh, what a disaster! So another another advantage to uh, never being on the board after time is <laughs> that he can't keep playing them. So can I do twenty? And the answer is no. Six, twelve, eighteen. Uh, but that's all twelve. That's all twelve mana, right? So I can't do. I can't get it. Uh, I mean, we can get across for. I just can't kill enough people, right? So if we did four, you know, we get over for fifteen. But you know, if we didn't have the the if we didn't have raining blood, we won that one, right? Um, but he does, so concede, no stopping him because we're not dealing with his board in any way, right? Tricky, tricky. So there might be something to be said for playing a tree ant in there to lock down the board for a turn. Um, that could be an option, or even the 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 way shivos or. Anything else, just stuff to stop your opponent attacking. Um, but anything you leave on the board for a turn is vulnerable to, to spell damage. So this is where the, the sort of frenzy power kicks in. So let's try one more time. Uh, but I think we've kind of seen the strengths and the weaknesses of the deck, right? So this is okay. We've got slightly different early pressure. We didn't have any of that last time. Um, and so we couldn't, you know, his board just built up and built up and built up. The, the few sort of fatal strikes we got down were not enough. Uh, is it worth this? Because it gives him something to kill it on. Mm. Yeah, okay. But we're just going to ignore him and go straight for the face. So we've got a choice next turn whether to play the Owl Bear or the Vortex. Depends what he does with this, really. So, that's it. so we're probably going to Vortex, depending on what he plays here. If it's a Kalapalak. Or, yeah, even better, one of them. Because then we can just drop you... Which takes you out. And now we're fishing for the ring, right? Um, that's okay. So now we're not fishing for the ring. Uh, you won't do anything. So I guess we have to play the slaver? Oh, so he's giving me plus one, plus one as well. So, I mean, I could kill... Oh, no, that's pointless. Fine, I'll play a slaver. See what he does. The assumption being that he's going to take a hit here uh, with the thingy, or alternatively, he might, uh, if he's got a fire spirit, take the guardian of this and trade... But either way is okay for us, I think. But really, yeah. No, oh, so... Uh, I mean, that was... Oh, no, he gets a cultist, of course. He gets a, he gets a kill off that. So it's not so bad for him. So now we've got the pieces we want. Um, but I think we have to... We can't go low is the problem. So I'll play you and that four instead of the three that I said it was. So now he's got a couple of things he needs to deal with. He can't play anything uh, without running foul of this. Although he doesn't know that I'm probably not going to attack whatever he plays. Uh, 
because what we want to do is get this on here and swing over and then we'll have two left so we'll get a spiderling down as well to repeat the process if he doesn't start thinking about taking out the board so he's muted you but I don't care about that perfect so I will play that there and get over and get over because we're just we're just here for the damage right and we will play mm, it's dangerous game playing no it's not that dangerous a game playing a liquidator i don't think um i think we probably play the spiderling though because he's not got a lot of the board never gets wide right so the the area of effect spells the the board wipes never really um do a massive amount of damage against this deck because you're you're often just playing Hmm. So he has to take out this. Like he has to. Uh, okay, well both those are fine. Um, yeah, I guess I'm okay with that because you can do that. You can do that. And instead... Oh, I've not got enough for the whip. Um... Ah, oh, who cares? Ah, I kind of care, right? <laughs> um, I think we play... He's going up to seven. That gives him the opportunity to do four to the board. Ah, if I just had one more mana and got that down this turn, it would have been great. Um, yeah, I don't think I can risk playing anything. Like, seven's a sweet spot for Ancestral Guard, right? Tornadoes, Van Meter Monsters, yeah. So if I'd put, if I'd played anything else, so that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. He knows I've got this, right? So now we drop you, you swing over, and now we drop you. You die, which nobody cares about. <laughs> Sad to see. So two, eight, twelve. So we can kill him next turn if he doesn't, um, he doesn't take out the snake. Uh, otherwise, it's Frenzy into uh, Devil's Ring time. Uh, sorry, Frenzy, Burning Cow into Devil's Ring. I mean, we should have this, right? There's a lot of things that he can do here that would, would mess us up. But that's not one of them. And that's not one of them. So if he doesn't find an Incinerate or a Liquidator, we are home free. So here, uh, let me just double check, six... 10, 12. So here we play you. I don't know where the snake's carrying all of this, but it is. And we swing over. So that was turn 9 for a finish, which is pretty fast. Um, you're going you're gonna to be competing against a lot of things there. That deck was, was you know, comparable to, to a lot of things you'll be up against. So it does show some of the advantages of it. But that is the deck. So hopefully you learned something from it. Now, if you're new to Dark Country, uh, like what you see. Um, you know, like... like Subscribe, smash that like button. I don't know what YouTubers do, man. Um, but if you want to sign up, don't forget you can use the link in the description to get a free pack. Uh, it's not a, You won't get NFTs, but you could use them in-game. Um, or, you know, if you're enjoying the content, want to support direct, I'll, I'll drop my wax address. Sling me some wax so I can buy some more cards. And, uh, yeah, check it out. It's well worth, well worth playing. So until next time, this is NFT Decree, signing off.